What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching Seaman Viking Television. Outside date forms for Snowball can be found in the office tomorrow. Also tomorrow, the one-act play auditions are after school. Seniors, January 18th is the deadline for the Seaman Education Advantage Scholarship. Tonight, the boys' basketball team is working at the pad. Come out and support the Vikes. Stuco is selling shirts for breast cancer awareness that will be worn on February 15th. Tonight's theme for the girls' home game against Washburn Rural is superheroes. Hey Vikes, we're here with Mrs. Geis to talk more about the theme for tomorrow's girls' basketball game. What is the theme, Mrs. Geis? Superheroes. And then we also heard that you have a giveaway going on? Yes, Spirit Club will be giving out um, gift certificates and possibly some cash for some super fans. Alright, awesome. Spirit Club is looking for that super fan tonight. Make sure you come out and support the girls. Now over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon. We didn't quite break out into sunshine yesterday, but we could see a few peaks of sun later on today. Otherwise dry until we get to tomorrow night. So here's what we're thinking for late tomorrow night into early Thursday. There could be a light wintry mix in the area, maybe a few hundredths of an inch of freezing rain or flurries, but at this point doesn't look to cause too many issues. Maybe some isolated slick spots for your Thursday morning commute to school. Other than that, we're still watching the potential for a more substantial storm system. Here's the latest of what we know and what we do not know this far out. We know that there will be a storm somewhere in the central part of the country and it'll likely continue to the eastern portion of the U.S. as well. The timing for here is pretty confident. Later Friday, probably Friday afternoon, into the day Saturday. It's uncertain how long the precipitation will linger, but that's the general time frame. What we don't know, however, is how much snow will accumulate. It's way too far out for that. Probably in a couple days, we'll start to fine tune those amounts. We don't know the track of the system just yet. Exactly where it takes will also affect our precipitation type. If the rain lasts for longer, that means less snow. Nonetheless, here's the latest GFS model showing that rain transitioning to snow around midnight Friday night. And if that were the case, we could see a pretty substantial accumulation of snowfall. And now for your SUTV seven day forecast, you can see that we are looking at, again, those few peaks of sunshine for today, a cloudy day Wednesday and on Thursday with that slight snow chance or wintry mix Wednesday night. Then here it comes, rain to snow on Friday, continuing through Friday night. We turn much colder for the weekend, windy as well on Saturday. And check out these wind chills for Sunday. Here's Sunday morning wind chills could be down into the teens below zero. So if you're planning on heading out to the Chiefs game, bundle up. It's going to be cold. We do try to reround back up to 31 degrees by next Monday. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.